Welcome, I'm Robin with Robin 3.3. I'm gonna show you how to make a simple tear tray. Um, what I did was I had some wooden candlesticks with some other wood pieces. We've got a plate from Target, it has a little bit of a lift to the side, which I drilled a hole in the middle and used three wooden knobs. Now the difference between a wood knob and a ball is a knob is flat on one side. So I used E6000 to glue these three wooden knobs on the bottom of this plate. I had an old um, baking pan that I used chalk paint on and distressed it a little afterwards. I sanded it and then I used this polycrylic uh, Minwax. It's a protective finish. It's a matte finish and this is water-based so it was easy to clean my brushes afterwards. The next thing you're going to need is this is called a hanger bolt. Now a hanger bolt has screws on both sides with just um, a space in the middle that does not have the threading on it. Okay? Now when you do this, you're going to need to drill a hole down the middle of the candlestick and put that hanger bolt in there, okay, which I already did. Then we're going to take the bottom of this, and I have a screw, a flathead screw, that we're actually going to screw this to the bottom of the plate. Now you can, if you want to, use... Um, a washer on this, but I really don't need one for this. Let me get my screwdriver here so we can make this go a little faster. I'm just letting you know you don't need all the fancy tear trays you see online. I may need a Oh, this is probably going to work. wasn't sure if this screw was long enough. We'll find out. No, it's not. And I had a longer one. Let me get it. I did pre-drill ahead of time. So I have enough room for it to go into it without splitting it. Oh, everything else I have is too long. Well, actually, this might be okay. This might work. Because I don't, if this was the, the, like the pizza pan I'm going to be using, then yeah, I'd need a flathead. But for this, I'm going to just use a screw that I have. Come on. I think my battery is going. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen when you're on a live. <laughs> oh, why isn't it going any further? There we go. Well, we're just going to screw it in there. There we go. All right, so we've got that part in place. Now we're going to take the baking pan and we're going to put it on the top. And then this, we need to pre-drill this. There is a little hole in there, so I'm going to try and work with that first. Since my screwdriver, my drill is out of juice there. There we go. It, it's grabbing slightly. The really, the main thing you need when you're doing this is to make sure that you're, when you drill your hole, it's perfectly straight. If you're not good with tools, have somebody that is do it for you. There we go. Now that, the glue came loose on that, so I'm going to have to re-glue it. But there's our simple tear tray. 
which I got some loose screws here I'm going to have to really fix. And then so you can put signs in here. You can put your little gnomes in here. There's so much you can do with tear trays. Like I said, it's a little loose. So we're going to have to fix that. So that was the first one that we were working on last week on my Facebook page. I wanted to just paint everything and have it all finished up so I'd be able to show you how it goes into um, how, it, how I put it together. Now, this is another idea. You can definitely use a pizza pan from the Dollar Tree and you can still put the knobs on the bottom of that. Then I would definitely use a candlestick. Now, before you put this candlestick on, you have several choices. You can get contact paper, you can get scrapbooking paper and cover this. But what I thought I would do is I would take a piece of fabric and I put a hole in the middle of the fabric. I just thought that would complement the plate some. Now you, if you have like a particular fabric placemat or something like that. I still have to finish the edges on this. I just wanted it to hang a little over the corners here. So I'm going to sew that up. Um, but I thought this way, if I just put a hole in there, I could change this out for every season or put a slit down here. So I don't even have to take it apart. I would just have to open this up to remove it. But I thought that went really well with this plate. All right, let's see what we can get done here since we're out of juice. I've got my hole already drilled in the candlestick. And this is already okay. So I'm going to take the pliers. I basically just wanted you to see me putting it together now that everything's painted. Um, yeah, righty tighty, lefty loosey. That's how I remember. If you want it tight, you turn it to the right. If you want it loose, you turn it to the left. pretty much in there. Now because this is sitting up, we don't need a flathead screw because it's sitting up off the ground. You could paint this. I would not suggest using um, chalk paint on this. I tried it one time and it made the pie plate like bow like it just went in different directions because the weight of the um, chalk paint on it. So you could spray it with Krylon paint. Um, Walmart sells them, they're pretty reasonable. Or like I said, you can cover it with fabric. Come on. I guess I'll be charging this tonight. So if I have a screw head I can just use because I don't have any. I do not have a screwdriver back here. Let me stop and get a screwdriver. Okay, we're back. And we've got a screwdriver. So all I'm doing is making sure that I get this screwed on to the pie plate. This is again just a pie plate, pizza pie plate from Dollar Tree. I 
got to screw that a little bit better. That is not tight enough. And the paint that I used for the um, candlestick and the knob feet was just an acrylic paint. And then we'll get this on top of here. Now I have several pieces in here. I could use a short piece if I wanted. I could use a long piece and then attach a ball to the end. Um, so let's see if we can actually, I have this little spacer. We could put that on the top. I think that would complement it nicely just to have that little um, lip at the top. Let's see if I can get the drill working because that hole is not big enough. Let's see if I have enough juice for that. Just always keep your fingers out of the way. It's always good to pre-drill pre -drill the hole, that way you don't split any wood. A lot of these pieces that I have were from a candle holder set, a light fixture. Anytime I see wood at a thrift store or whatever, I grab it because I know I'm going to use it. Come on, you can do it. Got a little bit of juice in you. Come on. Maybe not. <laughs> but again, these are called hanger bolts. I will put a, a, um, a link in the comments because I know they sell them on um, Amazon, but you can get them anywhere, really. go and then we'll just glue that on the top and there we've got two tier trays we've got this one pizza pan a plate a candlestick now let me show you what candlesticks are I get I used to get them from a company but that company has since gone out of business but I know they carry them at Michaels and in these they have these little metal caps it's good to take those out and then you see you have an area in there to drill. You've actually got a hole already started in there, which is great because then you'll get it straight. And then what you do to the bottom is you take your measurements, you find your middle, you mark it, then go ahead and find your middle there and mark it. And you have your little X in the middle and that's where you pre-drill. Now these hanger bolts were three sixteenth size, I think two inches, um, that one that connected these two. All right, so you've got that. And again, any kind of little wood, wood thing that you can find, you can put your signs on here. Um, I will have a picture on here later. Um, actually, it'd be the picture in the beginning but here's one I made that I actually used the wood base from a piece of furniture. Again, a candlestick and then a finial up top. Finials can be quite expensive. So if you happen to find them in a thrift store or something, grab them. You can find them on eBay, but they get kind of costly too. And they do have them unpainted on, on Amazon. It depends on how much you want to put into the product. Um, these are actually just two old pans, baking pans that I picked up at the thrift store. Again, I got a bunch of these for like 50 cents a piece. Let me turn it upside down so you can see it a little better. See how round that is? But it's really solid. 
And see with this, you want something solid. You want an area that's gonna protect it on all sides. I couldn't have used this on here because it would be too small for this pan. That's why I went ahead and used three because I evenly distributed the weight that I'm gonna put on top of here, okay? All right, I hope that was helpful. Um, please subscribe to my channel and look for more items coming up. I have a whole new line of tear tray signs that I'm coming out with, and I'd love to uh, see you join me the next time I go live on YouTube. Great. Have a good day. Thank you.